All right, this is likely the last video in this series of CD packaging design. Um, but I want to talk about a handful more because some of these are really cool, like this Nine Inch Nails Year Zero. Um, kind of traditional trifold artwork. Okay, with a Bible in one hand, a gun in the other. Although this isn't very traditional, this over-the-top FBI warning on the back. But um, what's really cool about this particular one is you take the CD out and you put it in the CD player and it's black. But when you pull the CD back out of the CD player, it is white, which uh, messes you up the first time if you don't know what's going on. But it's actually because there's a heat sensitive uh, layer printed on top of the CD. So if you hold your hand on top of it, you'll see that the warmth of your hand turns the CD white. And then by the time it cools back down, it uh, shifts back to black again. It's just uh, an interesting concept that works pretty well with this uh, type of album. Um, so that one's pretty cool. So a lot of the CDs I want to show are, are pretty interactive for this video. So this uh, CD from Spiritualized, ladies and gentlemen, we are floating in space. It's like a box of medicine, a, a medication that you would get over the counter. And this one, the, what the version I have is this one CD in this foil uh, wrapped plastic case. And then uh, there's a piece of paper that comes with it that um, kind of enhances the whole medication box concept. It's got um, information on this medical leaflet um, and then a little card that you would mail back. But this actually came in a much more limited edition box set. Um, I don't have it, but it's it had 12 discs, each containing one track. And they released these um, PR images, which made it look like these were being assembled in a, a climate-controlled medical environment. But they're really expensive, and I just didn't catch it when it first came out. And then this uh, reissue came out, which unfortunately was just about as expensive as the original, so I didn't get that either. But uh, it was uh, for the anniversary, same concept, each disc um, had a song. Um, and then had the extra um, CDs with it, but a really cool concept. And this band Maro came out with a release called Sunshine Enema. Um, it comes in this little medical uh, bag and um, it's got this little bottle. Um, this comes with a CD. Um, it also has a similar thing to the uh, spiritualized one where there's a document here that looks like um, medical information about a prescription. And then, of course, some crazy weird images and other text on this side. But, but on this side, um, it looks um, just like a, a prescription. Uh, I don't know what to say about this. I can read through all this, but it's got a lot of really uh, funny text on here. And then you're left wondering, do I take this pill or do I shove it up my butt? <laughs> but uh, taking it a step further, I guess, than Spiritualized did. Unusual, silly. But the uh, pill, by the way, if we take it out of here, I mean, it's got a nice little pill bottle, um, has a little cotton thing inside. Here's the pill itself, uh, blissisignorance.com. Um, but if you pop this open, it's actually a USB drive. So all of the uh, uncompressed audio files um, exist on this. So for those of you that would never, ever buy um, digital files of music, you probably would think this is just insane. But, um, but it's a, a funny, um, clever little release. So MGMT came out with an album called Congratulations, um, which looks like a traditional CD cover, um, except for this little uh, custom metallic coin that's on the inside, um, which if you pull it out and um, either read about it on the internet or discover on your own that part of the cover actually uh, scratches off, you could actually take the coin and scratch part of the cover off. This actually is not the scratch off portion, it's the the grid um, outside of it, but the custom coin here is pretty cool. Um, so the idea is that there's a hidden cover underneath the uh, cover that you see when you buy it. Um, this pink and uh, purple grid that's behind um, this little monster is the part you scratch off. Um, a couple people have uh, posted theirs online, so these are the covers um, once they've been scratched off. Um, reveals the black and white cover underneath. Well, a year earlier, a band from South Africa called Zinc Platter, something like that, I don't, I'm not even sure how to pronounce it. Um, in fact, I'm not going to try to pronounce the name of the album, but it's uh, Afrikaans for uh, Pretty Pollution. So in 2009, when they released this, they actually um, decided to use a guitar pick um, and a silver printed layer on top, which is very much like a lottery ticket protective cover. 
So you would take the guitar pick and scratch it off and reveal this cover that's underneath the silver. So the back um, would end up looking like this. Um, I haven't actually scratched mine off, <laughs> I'm afraid to. I kind of uh, like the original, but there's some images online that show this. So you would take your guitar pick, um, you would start to scratch, and as you scratch, you would start to reveal the cover underneath, just like you would reveal the prizes of a lottery. And uh, I guess you would leave some garbage um, from the remnants of this. So the pretty pollution concept also, I guess, <laughs> is revealed a little bit in that manner too. So one of the coolest things I have when it comes to CDs are actually these releases from Pioptic Recordings, People in a Position to Know. Uh, Mike Dixon is the one who runs this, and he also runs uh, this lathe cut site. And all of these CDs, and there's just a ton of interesting people in here. Um, Jad Fair, uh, Mike Watt, The Circulatory System, Little Wings, Wooden One, Simon Joyner, R. Stevie Moore. Just so many interesting things in this pile here. But each is a CD. Um, there's only, I believe, 300 copies of each one of these things. The trick here is you pull out the CD, and it says CD recording series. It's a, a digital analog hybrid disc is what he likes to call them. So if you flip this over to take a look at this, you can actually see the digital track here, just like on any traditional CD. Um, the track is here right on the inside. You plug it in your CD player, it plays great. But then on the outside of the CD, on the same side, you can see there's grooves actually cut in. So these are lathe cut grooves, which can actually play on a turntable. <laughs> so you're playing your CDs on your turntable. It's just, it's just such a great little hybrid concept. This is a little center uh, spindle adapters that also go with it to make sure it uh, plays proper, but uh, these things are just awesome. <laughs> So REM, for their release New Adventures in Hi-Fi, released this special edition device here so you could experience the adventures in all three dimensions. It's a, a Viewmaster. It's a 3D Viewmaster, like you looked at when you were a kid. These, they have the traditional Viewmaster reels, the old school Viewmaster viewer. Um, it's got REM stamped on the front. Um, you'd have an image for your left eye, an image for your right eye, and as you clicked through here at all these um, cities and uh, states and countries that they were traveling, and I believe these are all images from um, one of the tours, I assume from this sp specific tour, and then images of the band and, and things like that. So you might see an image of a little town in the middle of the country or um, some random tree. I'm not sure what this one is. Um, um, looks like it, maybe it could be um, L.A. or maybe the Las Vegas uh, skyline at night. Uh, the band sitting in a deli. Um, California or maybe Nevada desert. Um, just lots of interesting scenes and them just driving on the road, touring the country. Uh, a nice little item here to go with the album. So I want to show one more viewer. This is actually the Venetian Snares, a giant alien force more violent and sick than anything you can imagine. Um, this is pretty unusual because this is actually a, like a German breakcore noise, hardcore experimental band here. Um, I believe they're actually based in Winnipeg, Manitoba, but, but for such a, a hardcore style noise band, um, this piece is just such a tiny little delicate um, piece. The case is really nice. The head comes with a little CD, a, a mini CD. Um, it's a viewer, kind of like the REM viewer, except this is not a 3D viewer, but um, contains a lot of great images. I'll try to shoot some here through this little lens. It's going to be really hard to do, but um, this is video um, looking through there, and you can see it's kind of similar. There's images of small towns. There's also some bugs and crickets and things in here, um, overpasses, wires, um, electrical wires, uh, billboards, um, so you still see um, signs for uh, the Venetian snares um, release um, on a lot of these uh, images. If you just look in the right spot, you can find uh, the same text in, a, in most of them. Um, these are some stills. This is probably a little easier to view, a little cleaner, better color correction, I'd say. <laughs> but a great little tiny item to go with this music and um, just a cool release. So this next release is by Tristan Parrich. I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. It's called a, a One-Bit Symphony. Tristan is a contemporary composer and a sound artist. He's from New York City. 
This one bit symphony is actually an electronic composition in five movements, but it's on this microchip that's housed inside this jewel case. So there's no actual CD in here. So it's not a, a recording in the traditional sense. You actually turn this switch on and you have a little headphone jack here on the side. And when you turn it on and listen to it with headphones, it's performing the music for you. It's a, a pretty interesting <laughs> release here from uh, Cantaloupe Music. Um, I think there was only about a thousand of these made. Um, this idea that the package performs music for you, um, even though it's been programmed by the musician, by the artist, there still is actually no CD in here. I think it's a, a unique package. So in a very similar vein, we've got this release from Moldover. He calls this the awesome edition. <laughs> it's uh, got its CD in here, but it's got a little on off switch. Um, it's got a light that's glowing. You move around and suddenly you realize you're interacting with the CD. And it's actually a working theremin. So it's got a couple of light sensors here. As you move, get closer, you actually play it just like a theremin. It's, it's a musical instrument, um, the case is. And there's a headphone jack, so you can actually record your own tracks if you want to. And then you've got some text that's screen printed on top, but there's also a lot of things written in the circuitry itself. So as you play around with this thing, check out all the different sides, it's, it, he's just taking it to that next level instead of just making kind of a, a toy of sorts. It, it really is a piece of artwork here. It's an actual circuitry, an actual working uh, theremin structure to it. You have to check out some of his videos online. He's on a subway playing around um, with this thing and uh, jamming out to it. And he's, he's released more stuff since this and he's still doing very clever things. But this is a, just a really cool uh, package here. The, the package itself is, might even be more interesting than the, the CD. So those of you that don't like uh, CDs, yeah, you're missing out. <laughs> it's not all about vinyl. Sometimes these CDs are really cool. So I also want to talk about David Byrne and Brian Eno's Everything That Happens Will Happen Today. It's uh, the first time they'd collaborated since 1981's My Life in the Bush of Ghosts. Um, and this is a very different release, but it's, it's I think, an, a great album. It's kind of overlooked. It, for some reason, didn't get as much uh, praise as I would have expected. Um, but the packaging on this thing deserves a lot of praise. It's always nice to have vinyl, but, man, this is a case where the CD is just so much cooler. Um, the little model of this house on this metal tin, um, this yard, you, when you open the tin, you actually, if you listen here, I'll try not to talk too much, you hear footsteps, kind of getting up to a front door, a door creaking. This uh, speaker here is playing all that audio that you hear, um, and when you open the tin, there's a sensor inside that's actually um, senses that it's been opened <laughs> and starts playing the audio. It's, it's just a really nice unexpected feature when you open it up. Well, this limited deluxe package includes um, an enhanced CD for um, exclusive bonus songs. It's got a short film about the album. Um, by Hillman Curtis, and it's got a screensaver that you can uh, put onto your computer. Um, and then there's this nice little softbound book and a, a pill and a die um, on either side of this book. Um, the book itself is kind of a little work of art. Lots of wonderful images, um, the lyrics to the songs. Um, kind of back and forth between text and imagery. And the graphics are really nice in this. The book itself is put together um, very professionally. This, uh, the images are just really nice and go really well um, with the text. Um, I don't know, I just think this book alone is, is really cool. But in addition to the book, um, like I said, on either side, there's a couple extra elements here. There's a pill over here on the left, and then there's this die over here on the right, a six-sided die with little blocks of text. Let's see, uh, socks and shoes, uh, smells and flavors, uh, knife and spoon, a stinky bird. <laughs> um, let's see, a runny slice. 
a human brain. Let's see, is that, that's all six of them. Um, and then this pill, which um, you're supposed to take when listening to it, I suppose, <laughs> listening to the CD. Um, I don't know how many people actually do. I'm an inert um, thing in here. So if somebody did, you're not going to get sick or anything. Anyway, th there's, there's lots of CD packages that are just really cool that I could show out there, but this is just one where the, they went really above and beyond for the level of detail and uh, craftsmanship on this. It's really just a, a gorgeous package. Um, I could go on and show many more CDs, but uh, these four parts have already gone kind of long. Um, if you can think of some interesting things that I didn't show, uh, leave them in the comments down below. Maybe I'll make another video in the future, but um, I think I might want to go back to talking about vinyl in other videos. Um, but thanks for watching and subscribing. Thank you.